all right guys so today is a saturday and today's project is we are going to upgrade our water trough situation and i'm just getting started on it so i had to get the animals out of the barnyard and they're a little ticked but that's ruby our horse and our we have four goats yeah, one's behind Ruby. But anyways, so what we want to do here <clears throat> is a couple things. This is a Rubbermaid water trough. It's 150 gallons. Um, I love it. Um, I these Rubbermaid troughs, we've had the uh, galvanized ones. See that one in the back? Um, but I, gen I grew up with the galvanized ones, but I generally like the uh, Rubbermaid ones. I intentionally let it get low so I can move this out of the way. But we also run the Rubbermaid. Well, no, I don't think it's Rubbermaid. It's a Farm Innovators heater that goes in the drain plug. And when we put our barn up here, we put a plug right here for the purposes of running the heater <clears throat> but what we're going to do is we are upgrading to a 300 gallon rubbermaid water trough and like i said current one's 150 gallons a couple reasons we're doing it we don't have water out here our water line our nearest water line is that greenhouse way back over there and I have to run a 200 foot water hose out here to fill the trough i've been doing that for six years okay it's not a big deal because with just our load that we have on this pasture i'm only having to fill this thing i don't know once every three weeks to a month sometimes but we have we possibly could have some changes coming to the homestead and one of the projects i want to do to prepare for that and also in general make my life easier is put in this bigger water trough now on the summer agenda right now it's uh february on the summer agenda I am going to run a water line from our basement out here and I'm going to put a frost free hydrant out here. But it's still not going to negate um, this 300 gallon water trough. So um, like I say, this, this project will still be nice um, to have completed even when I do have a water line out here. So the trough is here. It's always been a little close to kind of this area of the barn and you you can walk here and the animals walk here and stuff <clears throat> but i put it close because I, I made a short extension cord you really shouldn't use long ones for these heaters um but that's not been any kind of an issue so what i want to do the 300 gallon tank is a wider out you know it'll come out further and it's also longer so what i'm going to do today is we're going to move the water trough the new one to about this area right here <clears throat> and we're going to run i got some crusher run gravel we're going to run a crusher run gravel pad right here and tie into this this is actually crusher run ramp right here so hopefully all of this will be crusher run and it'll be level I really like having my water troughs level. That should open us up a little better here. Never really been an issue. We do have a horse cross tie here. Um, I don't know, it's just a little tight there. <clears throat> but hopefully, so the new trough will set here. It will come out further, um, but you should have a little bit more room over here. Now, because we're doing that, um, we so we feed our goats on these um, feed buckets here, these fence feeders. And we feed our horse on that fence feeder. 
and on this whole property this 75 foot section of fence or whatever is the only one with no electric I mean there's electric all all on this whole entire property so when I put the water trough here I'm gonna need to move the goats feeders down to here and maybe even further so what I did was I picked up some more fence board. These fence boards are only here for the feeders. So I got, I'm going to at least go another 16 foot here. And then that way, um, the goat feeders or whatever else we get in the future could eat down low right here. Also, when I did it, got some boards to put on the back side of this fence because <clears throat> this is woven wire and like I said this is the only piece on the property without electric and the goats right there where there's no board the goats rub are right there I'm a big fan of electric fence because it keeps animals off your fence I mean our, our animals don't even get within five feet of the fence on the whole entire property you know, they don't even touch the fence, except for this one spot right here. So since I'm out here doing all of this anyways, I'm gonna put fence boards up here. They'll be helpful if we ever need feeders there in the future. And it will also, see how it's the same height as the, their rub line is the same height as where I put the boards. So I'm hoping that will just kind of give them something to rub on we also have another project coming up where we're putting something in for them to scratch and rub on as well i'll share that in another video but i gotta get going i just wanted to show y'all what we were doing all right guys so it's ryan again um a couple hours later we got the crusher run pad uh in and it's about I want to say right at about two tons of gravel and it's about six foot this way and it's about 12 foot this way and we had a little bit of an incline here so it's you know it's deeper here but it's perfectly level and it's I've sprinkled it with water and tamped it and it is almost as solid as concrete right now so we're gonna get the new water trough uh i gotta put i got a heater for it a brand new one i'm gonna put the heater in it and set it down here and start filling it up all right guys so just wanted to show you i got the uh water trough here it's a 300 gallon um and i just installed the heater which is this one here, the Rubbermaid Drain Plug De-Icer Farm Innovators. These things work great. Had them on the 150 gallon that I just took out. Um, and they also make a universal one, which is almost identical. And I had that in the galvanized tank over there. The, uh, <laughs> the geese are really wanting into the barnyard but anyways so this is the basically the bulkhead that comes with the water trough okay and this is the heater and i don't know if you can tell but there's there's a rubber washer and a plastic nut there and on the inside the heater is right there with basically a rubber washer in there I'm gonna put some wire loom on there on the on the outside I found that helps for UV um, if the goats chew on it whatever so that's what I'm gonna do and we will place this thing on the pad and get her filled up okay guys so I just wanted to show you I got the um, trough set down into position and this is how I do the um, heater cord. You can just see it. Well, first off, I got the wire loom on there. And you can see, 
I basically just zip tie it to the fence and then <clears throat> I uh, like I told you the water the other water trough used to be over here so my extension cord goes to there so I just need to I'm gonna make a whole new extension cord and I'm gonna go from the outlet um, over to here so for right now it's not hooked up but it will be I just didn't know how long I needed the extension cord um, but I just just wanted to show you that you know it might seem like a lot of work that we've put into setting this trough but I will tell you taking this time to do this um, you won't have to mess with this for years you know it it's gonna be level it's you're gonna have your 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 heater you're not gonna have to deal with ice um, it, it's just all around a good way to do it so anyways getting ready to fill her up now all right guys so as you can tell I've got the water trough about full and actually I went ahead and put the goat feeders over here and if you remember the those two feeders were on this board here and the other water trough was more over here so I've got a whole lot more room here just to get in and out and different things and I've got the wire for the heater ah, this camera coming up here and over and I just need to make myself an extension cord going from here to the plug the animals are really wanting to come in they kind of been out for several hours and I'll go ahead and get them fed and then a little bit different project I'll add those fence boards like I was saying I'm gonna add them on the back side as well and that will keep just rubbing down from the goats rubbing the fence and they don't really do any damage um, I mean this fence has been up for going on six years seven years something like that so um, but anyways just wanted to show you the finished project got to clean out the old trough that's the 150 gallon this is the 300 um, <clears throat> and then uh, probably put those away and call it done but there's the project and I think it turned out really well